New research revealing two very stressful jobs that are common here in the city can actually help the brain fight off the effects of Alzheimer's disease. All right, Fox 5's Arthur Chan shows us why experts believe driving taxis and ambulances can lower your risk of dying from Alzheimer's. Being a taxi driver or an ambulance driver might be two of the more high-stress professions we can think of, but a Harvard Medical School study finds when it comes to dying from Alzheimer's disease, which destroys memory and thinking skills, taxi and ambulance drivers have the lowest percentage of deaths, all of it prompting the idea that how a person uses their brain, like when they routinely have to map things out, may be the key. The brains of taxi cab drivers uh, might evolve to be different because of the nature of their, their work, driving around, sort of keeping spatial maps in their, in their brain, in their memory. With nearly 7 million Americans currently living with Alzheimer's, the Harvard study looked at more than 440 occupations, finding drivers of taxis and ambulances had significantly lower rates of death. The findings supporting the theory that having to map out new locations in one's brain is healthy, and case in point, bus drivers with regular routes and pilots get the brain disease more often. We asked around to see how people are processing this information. Yeah, my brain is healthy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Does it make you think about driving a cab for a living? <laughs> Maybe I think so. Dr. Anupam Jena, one of the authors of the study, says nobody should be rushing to get jobs as taxi or ambulance drivers. Pointing out while they seem to fare better when it comes to not getting the disease, the sedentary lifestyle of a driver causes other health issues that can be life-threatening. Those who are behind this study say all of this is interesting, but that more work needs to be done. And they say the logical next step is to look at the memories of Americans who are still alive, who have worked the same professions for a long time. Let's look at a, a cohort of individuals, some of whom are taxi drivers, some of whom are ambulance drivers, some of whom may be bus drivers, teachers, whatever it is, and let's look at how they perform on memory testing uh, when they're in their 70s uh, or 80s. A thought-provoking study looking to drive us in the direction of Alzheimer's prevention. In Manhattan, Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.